Hello, so today we are going to model the chimney and we can do it in three parts. So the first part would be to model the chimney itself. Secondly, we'll give it some basic materials and third, we'll see the fire and smoke simulations for it. It's going to be interesting. So let's get started. First, I'll go to front view. Let me delete all these three things and I'll bring in the images from the folder I saved them in. I'll give these images in the video description, but also if you want to model any other chimney, you can directly go to the product's website and download it from the description over there. So first I'll place the chimney roughly around the center over here. I'll bring a box so that we can scale it with a reference. As you can see, the chimney, as you can see, the chimney's dimension are already given. So around along the Z-axis, it's 2500 mm or 2.5 meters. And along X and Y, it's going to be 1.1 meter or 1100 as they have shown. So I'll click on the uh, end button and over here, I'll what I'll do is I'll give the exact dimension. 1.1, tap 2.6. Yeah. Now that we are set with it, we can scale the image accordingly. It's very easy to uh, do it like this as it won't give you much hassle to set it in each view. You don't have to be that precise. It's just that it will help you in modeling it properly. So the chimney can be used in your ArcGIS renders or any other thing you're going to create. It's always useful. I'll go to the top view and bring the same image again. Yeah. I'll scale down according to the dimensions of the box. So as you can see, this made the process really easy. And that should be just fine. What you can do is you can go to the image properties and you see over here display only access align. So what this will do is now, right now you can see both the images in all directions. Now, clicking this will restrict the image to only that axis. Now when I click this, uh, over here only the reference box is showing. I'll do the same for this one as well. Yeah, that should be fine. So the mod process of modeling this chimney is really simple. I'll bring in a cylinder, scale it according to the top view. Yeah, move it along the direction. Oh, I just saw that the screencast keys are not turned on. Yeah, they should be fine. Really sorry. Okay, I'll scale it again. Go to edit mode. Select the base and move it along the direction. Extrude it near the crease of the chimney. Now we can just extrude and scale. It's really simple. It's really, really simple. So, yeah. Yeah. So the modeling of this chimney isn't that difficult. The interesting part is the fluid simulation for the chimney. So we'll see it in just a few minutes. I guess this one should be fine for it. Yeah, this looks perfectly fine. What I'll do is, as you can see, this is going to be a glass part of the chimney. So over here, I'm going to select the faces and press P. And this time I'll separate it by selection. And I'll rename this as the glass. And the other cylinder as body. Now I'll know also uh, hide it for now. And we'll work on this as of now. Now I can delete this queue. I'll give it some basic details. Go to vertex select mode with the option key or the alt key press, extrude and then scale it inwards. You can also scale it downwards, scale it this way. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing is basically making a place for the burner. Let's scale it again. Yeah, 
that should be just fine also we'll give it a subdivision surface okay i'll also do this first and press f to fill the faces so i'll press subdivision surface so what this do and does is that it will divide the basic mesh further but as it is a non destructive modifier so if we click on the display button you can see the basic geometry is still here <clears throat> so now i give it some loop cuts to refine the geometry let me do this for any of these models giving it a number more than 3 would just be over killing it i believe 2 or 3 is just fine so the basic thing is done i'll bring a cube scale it to a very small amount yeah that should do yeah that thing i guess it was too small but it will do the job i'll give it some height now what i'll do is i'll bring a previous select the curve option and bring a circle inside this and scale it roughly to the size of the burner stand yeah so i'll bring it over here zoom in and place the edge of the circle to somewhere around the center of this now what i'll do is i'll give it an array modifier and give it some oh, okay not this i'll give this an array modifier and also i'll give it a curve modifier so what it'll do it it will array along that particular curve i'll select it from here so now as you can see increasing the distance and the number will give us a result real quick you can see the placement accordingly that should do it i'll directly apply it as we don't have to i'll delete this as well i'll bring in a circle a normal circle the previous one was a vesia circle so basically it was a curve and this is a normal planar geometry yeah what i'll do is i'll extrude and scale inside and select all and scale upwards i'll select now both of them and then move it to a new collection called burner i place it in the chimney over here as you can see as we move increase the uh, number of the view subdivisions in view port the geometry also changes drastically so i'll give another loop cut over here and for the top what we can do is go to face select mode and bring it inwards by pressing i for the trees over here I'll go to edge select vertex select mode, and then control R. I can bring another one of these over here. You can press Shift to get a more better control of it. Now go to face select and select this. Press E and then press Alt S. So it will scale it inwards directly. Now I'll also give loop cuts to refine it properly. We don't have to go too much in detail for the modeling. This must should just do. So I'll hide this and go with the glass part. I'll give the fire. Two should be fine for this as well. And what I'll do is I'll scale it along 
X and Y but not Z. So the shortcut for that would be Shift Z. Yeah. That should do. And you can see the basics of this are already done. Now you can see over here in the reference image there are these cube like things. So we are going to model them real quick. I'll go to a select mode and select the edges, uh, one of the edge over here. I'll shift D to duplicate, press escape and then press D. So what this will do is that it will create a uh, edge exactly where we duplicated it. Now I'll uh, dive into edit mode, this time only the edge on which we duplicated will go into the edit mode as it was also separated I'll extrude it you can go into top view to get a better control of this this one should be fine go to face select mode and then extrude it outwards For this we don't need any subdiv surface and now what I'll do is I'll mirror this along both directions. This has been mirrored and also I'll mirror it along Y. That should do it. I'll also name these as partitions for glass. This seems good. What I can do is I can yeah, that should be fine. So the basics of thinning are done. As you can see, it took a really short amount of time to model it. Now I can move it to a new collection called and hide it. We already have this. I'll select this. You go to the shader editor and give it some very basic materials. Chimney as I'm just saying. I'll give a metallic of one. Also, I'll turn on the preview so we can see. I don't know why it's hanging so much today. I'll Make it a little black color. That should just do for the gym. Body. We'll rename it as body. Also, these partitions will also have the same material. So let's make it quickly. Now for the glass. A lot has already been researched for the material of glass. One of the very famous node setup is by Blender Guru himself. So I'll just show, uh, show you how to make that glass material again. For detailed videos, you can revisit his earlier videos. But Blender Guru has done for the community is really amazing. First, I'll bring in the mix shader. Also, I'll bring in the glass and the transparent shaders, which can directly be mixed into it. Now we don't need the preview. Also the transparent shader. I'll mix them over here. I'll bring the light part to converter. Go to the math node and the shadow ray and the diffuse ray. But also we need the glossy ray. So we'll duplicate it right over here. So this way all three of them can be added together and used as the factor input for so this. Also, as you can see in the material preview, it looks a bit off. So the thing is, we need to select the render engine as cycles. Now when we preview it, it should be almost fine. Just a second. Okay, yeah. So what I'll do is, I'll duplicate the mix shader as well. Make this as the output. Make this as the factor of the second shader. 
and this time for this we'll use the Fresnel node and give it an amount of 30 or so yeah so I'll rename it as glass as you can see I'll change the color to this when I go to the rendered view we already have a pretty good looking chimney uh, as you can see, I'll, I'll also give the burner and the stand the body material this should do for us I'll save it yeah now that we have completed the basic modeling and the materials part in next part of the video we'll give it the burner some basic fire simulation and do it up for it and then we'll take the final render hope you like this tutorial and do leave a comment in the section below if you like the video please like share and subscribe it will help me create better tutorials for you next time thank you